I don't know what it is, but you feel so amazing when you eat Indian food. Give me some seconds. I'm in heaven. No joke. I'm in a noodle heaven. Look at the creaminess. Oh, from the sauce. It looks so good with the soft naan. It is so amazing. Mango sticky rice, baby! Sawadika, my friends, and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Alan, 20 years young, and it's time for a delicious feast. We got a lot of Indian and also Thai foods in front of me, and I cook everything, almost everything by myself, besides the pizza and the naan. But yes, guys, why pizza? We will come to everything later on. We got a lot of different dishes, one of my favorites, but also something that I never had, so before we start to eat, if you're new on my channel guys and love food as much as I do, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Let me know what are your favorite Thai dishes and also Indian dishes. Even Korean, Japanese and my home country Boston foods are my favorites. I gotta say, when it comes to flavor, Indian and Thailand, definitely almost every single dish is super delicious so many different spices and flavors nothing that is boring and yes that is why i decided to make an indian and thai food feast this time maybe next time i will choose two different countries like japan and vietnam and vietnam i don't know let me know guys what you want to see and yeah let's stop talking let's start eating han hei aroi i think it calls for a good appetite and this is go to gai cheek i think it calls so it's put it's a spicy pulled chicken noodle soup with vermicelli noodles and I never had these before and I can and maybe I cannot show you everything but maybe you can see it oh it's super oh the smell cheers my friends Yo, wow, I was looking for some traditional Thai cuisine dishes on YouTube and then I just copied the recipes and oh wow, this is so amazing and just perfect because of the weather because in Germany right now it's super cold and I love noodle soups. Mm. Just to warm up my body. Even I'm not the biggest fan of, like for example, uh, veggies, Asian foods, and Asian dishes. I don't know what it is. They're always so much better, really. Some Thai yasmin rice. I hope you can see it, guys. I don't know and with lemongrass and some other spices mmm oh just on its own it is so good we got here also just because I got no space anymore my own homemade Thai green curry I hope you guys can see it It's a coconut based curry with green curry paste, so much different spices and I will use it for my rice. But first like so it's super creamy you can see because of the coconut and I love me coconut curry guys. And I hope it's super spicy, if not I got my secret weapon. Let's see. Mm. Oh. Oh, the creaminess. Yeah, and in this video guys, I don't want to show how you have to eat your food properly because I'm not Thai, I'm not Indian. Oh, oh wow. But the rice right now, 
with the curry together is so amazing like for real oh I'm in, I'm in heaven no joke and I totally forget to make Instagram story so if you want to be the first behind the scenes just follow me on Instagram creamy mm -mm -mm. oh Ah. Oh wow. And here we got some naan and it's baked in a real tandoor oven guys. So and I want to try it with some leftover from the coconut curry before it's gone. Oh. oh wow the bread is the naan is so good I I love naan son of a dog this is definitely one of the best breads and also with the soup I saved just a bit oh oh wow This is how we eat soup in Bosnia, my home country. We always dip bread in the soup. Also, we have some homemade mango lassi. Oh. Me likey. And guys, I'm actually not a fan of, yeah, German supermarket. Asian dishes because they are almost so Europeanized That you really don't have the authentic flavor and spiciness and that is why I always cook everything by myself But I found this at Lidl and this is the Indian style pizza and you know me guys I love my fusion and why not Italia with India, right? So we got the Indian style goat cheese veggie curry pizza so you can see the bell peppers, goat cheese, normal cheese, we got onions and for the base they use the curry sauce. And I got no idea if it's good, but let's see guys, let's let's find out so. Cheers, pizza. Just because pizza is amore and why not guys? Let's be real, it don't have to be always authentic to taste good, right? And they're super high in calories, so I hope it's good. Oh wow. I'm definitely a fan. It's not nothing about pizza here. It's, it, you can taste the pizza crust, the dough. No joke, it's full, it's so good. Scheiße, ist die lecker. I would get this uh, 8.5. And here we have some Carolina Reaper sauce. Just because I really like spicy foods. And that's why some Carolina Reaper sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck my life. Mm. The curry is so good. Let's make it a bit crazier, guys. Let's take some of the beef chickpeas curry and put it also on the pizza. And there we go. Oh, oh I'm excited. Yo. 
strictly all the masala, all the spices. Oh, this is umami. All right, and here in this pot, guys, we got, I think it calls shaval kikir. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is kind of an Indian rice pudding dish that you cook with normal rice, milk, uh, cardamom and nuts, for example. I cook it like that with some almonds, cardamom, and there we go. Oh. Yo. Whoa. Strictly. Oh, wow. I like this even more than cinnamon rice pudding. Mmm. This is so strong. I become goosebumps. Oh, my holy freaking. Mm. Wow. I found something new. So, just because we start to eat the curry, let's finish it. So it's a beef chickpeas curry and let's eat it just together with the naan. And we also have some homemade pilaf rice. I would love to eat everything with the hand but my hands, one hand at least have to be clean for the camera. And mobile. Mmm. Oh wow. The pilaf rice. I cook with turmeric and also saffron. That's why we have the golden color with some onions in the pan with some oil. Mm. Oh wow! Because I don't want just plain rice. I just got so much flavor from the saffron. Oh. Mmm. I don't know what it is, but you feel so amazing when you eat Indian food. I feel so so good, so happy. Really also kind of a comfort food for me. Mmm. Matthew, greetings to you, but no cereals today. I'm sorry. This is so much better than cereals. And sorry to all my Indian peeps when I don't eat like your traditional way. I love naan so much. Naan, paratha, alu paratha, all the flatbreads. Mm. I will definitely have some more Indian and Thai food in my next videos. But yeah, I gotta change it up. Mm. Coconut rice rolls. Coconut pandan rice rolls from Thailand. And I love pandan flavor. It's a leaf. It tastes almost like vanilla, you can say. With a hint of coconut. And these rolls are so crispy and delicious. Like and the fragrance, the, the smell. Mmm. Oh. I bought them at the HS store and they're super expensive. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're so good. Mm-hmm. Wash it down. Mmm. Oh, creamy, delicious mango lassi with Thai coconut rolls. It is time for my beef pad thai. Homemade. Oh, yeah. It's all the delicious spices from the tamarind to the fish sauce for the umami with peanuts, roasted peanuts. Uh, the egg because they're stir-fried and with some beef 
Ah, cilantro o y coriander. Mmm. I know it's so typical to have pad thai in videos, but I think I had pad thai only once. And oh, I love pad thai so much. It is so good. Mmm. And it's still warm. And I'm happy about that. You know how much I love my noodles. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Give me some seconds. I'm in heaven. No joke. I'm in a noodle heaven. Let me know what are your favorite or the peanut. Mm. Let me know what are your favorite noodle dishes. That's why rice noodles are so good. They soak up all the spices and sauce. Mmm. But speaking of sauce. Oh yeah. Let's jack this up. Carolina Reaper pet dye. Okay, a bit too much sauce. Wow. Wow, this is spicy. <laughs> was so good, but really spicy. Ah. Something sweet again, also from Thailand. Euro cake, and it's filled with vanilla custard. Also something that I never had. Anyways, this is the custard filled bun. Let's see. Like a milk bread, super soft. And only just a bit of filling in the middle. Mmm. But it's good. And we can see the filling. Wow. This is really really soft and it reminds me of Japanese bread so we got some more naan we got the butter chicken left pilaf rice and mango sticky rice and I love 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 butter chicken the creaminess fattiness from the sauce with the chicken Look at the creaminess oh, from the sauce. It looks so good with the soft naan. Oh. Wow. Butter chicken is the goat. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pad thai and butter chicken. and the green curry thank you so much really from the bottom of my heart India and also Thailand for your amazing foods like for real just the naan ton from the tandoor oven the last bite of the butter chicken man I enjoyed it so much just like so mm. man. if you never had butter chicken I'm sorry guys but then you got no friends for real it is so delicious I cannot believe that I ate everything man Mango sticky rice with a lot of coconut 
Oh my god, it's definitely one of my all-time favorite desserts. It's so creamy and with the mango and coconut together. Oh. Man, I'm in heaven, no joke. This was an amazing night with a lot of delicious foods. Over one hour and 20 minutes right now of eating. It is so amazing. Mango sticky rice, baby! And with the creamy coconut on top. Roasted sesame seeds. That's why I love to cook everything by myself. First, it is super authentic. And you can have so much food that you never could get here in Germany. Mm. The mango with the coconut. Mm, 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 mm. Yo! Oh wow! Definitely works. Mm. My friends, I hope you all enjoyed the video till the end. Let me know what was your favorite. Let me know what you want to see next. This is going to be my last bite. Mango sticky rice. Pen and coconut wafer roll. Cheers my friends. Much love to India, much love to Thailand. You guys are amazing. You have so much amazing food and I hope that I can come one day into the countries and eat there some real authentic style of foods. Oh. But I tried my best today, cooked for so long, and I hope you guys will appreciate it. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, smash the like buttons, write some comments down below. We'll see us in the next video. Until we eat again, I'm out and full.